Welcome to Unit Circle Survival Guide. Today we're going to be looking at SOHCAHTOA, which is our acronym to help us remember our trig ratios for right triangles um, and how they work in our unit circle. So to get started, let's recall SOHCAHTOA. Sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse, that's S-O-H. Cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse and tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. So this acronym helps us remember the trig ratios for our basic three trig functions, and then we can use those to find the additional three, the reciprocal trig functions, simply by taking the reciprocal of the ratio. So let's see how those ratios work out in a unit circle. And let's first start by sketching on a right triangle. So we'll use here the 30 degree angle um, or the pi over six angle, but let's just label it theta so that we can generalize. And we know a piece of information about this triangle already because we know this is a unit circle, which means each radius is one unit. So here's a radius highlighted in blue, and we know that that length must be one, and that's our hypotenuse of our triangle. So when labeling our legs of our triangle, we're going to be a little bit general here, again, so we can generalize and use this for all of our trig functions. We know that this leg can be represented as x. It's moving in the horizontal direction, so let's label that x. And then our vertical leg is moving in the y direction, so we can label that y. And a lot of times you'll see this point right here labeled as the ordered pair x comma y. So now let's see how these trig ratios simplify a little bit from opposite over hypotenuse, for example, with sine. So that's where we'll start. And we'll say that the sine of our angle theta, we know is the opposite over the hypotenuse. And here specifically for our unit circle triangle, the opposite side from our theta, which is here, is y. And the hypotenuse is one. So the sine of our angle on the unit circle will simply be the y coordinate. You'll see it works pretty similarly for cosine. So we know that the cosine is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So in this case, the adjacent side to our angle theta is x. The hypotenuse is 1. So the cosine of our angle will simply be the x coordinate from the unit circle. Finally, we have the tangent. We know that the tangent of an angle is the opposite side over the adjacent side. So in this case, on the unit circle, it's y over x. So once we've identified these three ratios, we can find the reciprocal ratios as well. So we know the reciprocal of sine is cosecant. So we can say that the cosecant, abbreviated CSC of theta, is simply the reciprocal ratio. So that will be, instead of y, 1 over y. Or you'll notice that's the hypotenuse over the opposite. Okay, similarly with Cosine, we know its reciprocal is secant, so the reciprocal ratio must be 1 over x, or the hypotenuse over the adjacent. And finally, we have the cotangent ratio. So we know the cotangent must be the reciprocal of tangent, so x over y, or the adjacent side over the opposite. All right, so that's all there is to it. Uh, we will use these trig ratios when finding exact values and so knowing how they act on the unit circle will be really helpful for that. Um, so I will post a few links in the video description with more about surviving the unit circle. Uh, thank you so much for watching.